up YouTube Reese's Pythons back with another live feeding video warning this is a live feeding video so if you're not a fan of seeing snakes eat live rats I suggest you click out this video now because that's what this is about to happen y'all see the live rats right there and my snakes are ready to feast on their meal I'm not too long finished feeding some of my babies, the ones that I know that will eat. I tried all of them, but all of them did eat, of course. So now I'm about to try to feed on the bigger, the bigger snakes. I think, I don't know which one this is. I don't want that spider to jump out on me. Because <laughs> she is not to be played with. All right, so first we're going to try to feed my banana girl. All right, she's been locked up with my banana male for, since Thanksgiving. I paired them up. I put, a, I put the male in there with her uh, for Thanksgiving to see how that was going to work out. Oh, come on, you. See, this is why I don't record you. This is why. Oh, please. All right. Back at it. So, as y'all can see, this is why I don't record because once I put the red in, it tends to jump out because the tubs are not real deep. So, I'll be having to put the red in, close the lid. And then wait for the snake to grab the rat or the mouse, whatever it is that I'm feeding. And once that happens, I open the container, make sure it's not getting bit or getting scratched up, and go from there. But she's taking a little while to grab it. And the containers are real. There you go. It sounds like she grabbed it in the water. Just like I said. Just like I said. So I'm going to take her out from that position by the water. So that way, when she unwrap it, she wouldn't unwrap it in the water and be looking for it. So she got it. She got a little poop, a little rat poop up in the water. And they also have a couple drops on the side of the water bowl. So, we're going to let her do her business and move on to the next one. All right, my people. Up next, we're going to do my hypo girl that's about to tag my leg. If I don't get her no, no rat. So, I'm going to close that up. And as y'all can see how quick she popped her head up. She's ready. They smell the rats, so they're ready to eat. And she haven't eaten in, in a little minute. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these rats for her. This one shouldn't have a chance to hop out. See, just like that. You know, y'all was able to see that grab. Y'all can see this big girl. Look like she's about to go in shed. But I knew that rat wasn't going to have a chance to hop out, so that's why I didn't bother about trying to close it up. Let y'all see the grab. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, this one here is going to be my male silver bullet. That's a super cinnamon pastel. And hopefully he'll catch it before. There it is. Before it jumps out. It's obviously not biting because the snake is still. It's not moving. Licking this. Literally squeezing the you know what out of it. So this guy was uh <clears throat> this container's kinda hard to push. He was overdue on the meal. 
So I had to make sure we eat. My banana hit red exanti. Got to make sure he eat as well because he's been breeding. So I want to make sure we get a meal to him. Come on, Red. Don't jump out. There you go. And just like the banana female, I have to take the snake from the water bowl so it won't drop his meal in the water bowl. And he's getting too big for this container, as y'all can see. I'll be doing a little upgrading on a few of my snakes. And he also got a little poop up in his water. Video not so bad after all. My albino girl, she's waiting. She's ready. <laughs> Along with this head pie girl. These two didn't eat. I fed these two mice today. Not too long ago. Because for some reason they stopped eating rats. So hopefully they're not a mouser. But many mice for the last three feedings I believe so let's move on to the next one all right we're gonna try my head pie girl she got some urine in there that's not bad let me try her she's smelly but no noise in there Oh, she's she seeing my movement. So I'm up. Oh, all right. She's seeing the, the rat now. There you go. Nice, quiet, great grab. Straight on the mouth. That's good. Got some urines in there. But she's seeing my movement. I was about to try to get the rat and drop it back where I dropped it at before. And she focused on me. <laughs> but she got it, so that's good. On to the next one. All right, my banana male sugar. My banana sugar male. <laughs> I believe he recently came out of his skin. So I'm going to see if he going to eat. miss so they go our way else I guess he will eat got it got it I got some uh some cypress mulch up in these 32 quart containers I have the green turf up in the 40 quart containers along with up in the 12 quart containers so a little mix up. Another one squeezing the you know what out of it. So it was time for this guy to eat as well. Cause we gonna up next we're gonna try my male uh Mojave. Alright, I pulled it out. So we're gonna try him now. One of these Shut up. Scrumptious rats. Get in there. See if he gonna eat. He struck at it. Hey, don't strike at me now. There you go. So there's our answer for him as well. The last time he ate was on the fifth, so I knew he was about ready to eat as well. I hate when they water be dirty, so I'm going to have to clean that out, along with the water bowls that had a few red droppings up in it. That was another one that was hard to push. All right, my spot no sugar, he's on mice now. My ultra male 
mail. I'm not sure if he's going to eat a rat because he's been eating mice as well. I can try him with one. But I don't believe he'll eat it. See, he pushed it away. I mean, he knows it's in there, so I don't know what he's going to do with it. Oh, he got it. Okay. He fooled me. I'm glad he did, though. I got to take him and fix him. He was all underneath the carpet. Oh, glad he took it. Sweet. Look at this girl. She's ready. She is ready. It's my head pipe. That's a big rat. Oh, wow. That was a big rat. And as y'all see, it's all balled up. I can't prevent it from biting if it was biting. But it can't bite because it can't raise its face up. It can't raise its mouth. Because that's how tight the rat, the snake is squeezing it. So that's my uh, female head pie. I don't know if it's ancient or not. Not sure. And last but not least, we're going to feed my vanilla Mojave female. The last one. There you go. See, now this one is trying to bite. But it's getting squeezed real tight, so. That's why you gotta watch when you're feeding live. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't feed live. But that's all I feed. It's hard for me to get live and frozen. Unless I order it. Order the frozen. But I don't want all the frozen and then my snakes don't eat it. Because all they're used to is live. And then there'll be frozen rats that I have to probably give away. Because I don't want to throw them away. It's a waste of money. I'd rather somebody use them than me having to throw them away. So that's going to be it for this live feeding video, you guys. Y'all make sure y'all comment down below and tell your friends about the channel. And hit the notification bell so y'all know when I upload videos. Subscribe. And uh, show love. Reese's Pythons, you guys. I'll talk to y'all in my next one. Peace.